Hello guys and welcome back to another Radio Foggy 2 episode. Well, as you can see, I'm already on the bar. So, uh, without further ado, let's do something first. Let's keep this guy's rifle. There you go, have your rifle, have fun. Uh, you actually got some money, not that much, but... Now, you... Okay. I'm not going to read this, guys. If you can, you can read it if you want to, but I'm just going to skip it. He doesn't didn't give me any money, though. That's very rude. <laughs> I need a job. Call a soldier. Blah blah blah. Actually, I'm going to get this mission as I'm going to head back for Agroprom. I will explain in a minute, but first I'm going to do something real quick. Look at that. Some money. Uh, I need to save money for this actually. And this. I need to have all of them. I need to have all the loot, all the suits and all that stuff. Now, I need to buy some shotgun ammo, which you don't have, but you have this, which I will buy, and it's expensive as heck. I will buy 60 rounds, screw it. That's a lot of money. You know what? <laughs> I'm not going to buy any ammo. And I'm actually going to sell you some of these. Yeah. Oh well. Ammo for something, I guess. So, let's go outside. Yes, there's too much noise inside here. And that actually prevents me from thinking. <laughs> At least from having a, a correct train of thought. Okay. So, this is what I'm planning for this episode, actually. Instead of going there, then, to the military warehouses and turn off the brain scorcher, we are going to meet the guide in the cordon. And after meeting the guy, the guy in the corner, we'll be sent back to Agroprom, and you'll see why. You'll see why. And we'll continue on Agroprom. So, I'm going to not end this session, you know, but I'm going to skip it here, and I'll see you guys back in the cordon. Hello guys, and welcome back. Um, we're finally in the cordon, as you can see. And we're going to talk with the guy. Who's this guy? We were forced to leave the territory in the area of the 19th and we had the right to leave the territory for its rights. And there we go. I actually forgot to bring some food and as you can see I'm starting to... I would say star, but yeah. Well, I'll see you guys again in the in Agroprom because it's where the doctor actually is. He's on the... Wait, is he? There we go. Storm looks like the place is in Agropro. So I'll see you guys back then. Hello guys and welcome back again. I'm really sorry for the skips, but I really want to save you all the time from walking from A to B and from B to A and stuff like that. So I'm going to to kill this guy. It's up to you if you don't want to kill him or not, but I'm going to kill him. That's it. Sorry, but you have to die. And here we go. Um, I'm going to the to the underground now, so I'll meet you guys there, right? As this is a going to be a very not a very short episode, but a very long one. So see you guys in the underground. 
Hello guys and welcome back again. Um, I forgot to mention that I, in the core then I actually went back to the rookie village and before I got there obviously I killed all the... all the military that were on the, on the bridge. And I decided to sell all their stuff to see the bitch, obviously, and I also got some of my supplies, so I'm not angry anymore, am I? God damn it, that guy was refusing to die, really. Really? Can't see me? What the hell? Okay, well, that actually serves me right serves my purposes. I was hoping for a fight and all I got was a massacre. Okay, I'll, I'll take that. I kill all the filthy bandits. Oh, that's why. They're all on eye alert and Running away, I guess. Yeah, I'll have to go that way. That's going to be entertaining. Okay, that guy's going to be toast. Wait, what? What? How did that happen? How did he manage to go through there without dying? If that was me, I'll probably die. That's what always happens. Okay. Uh, I don't have a lot of interesting stuff, do you? I'm going to take all your ammo. These weapons are in terrible condition. I'll have to drop them somewhere, really. I know that there was a guy there. And it was not that one. I'm pretty sure of it. Unless he freaking circle around. These guys are heavily armored. I'm actually afraid that he actually goes and flanks me. Crappy weapons. Oh, let me see. Oh well. That was a freaking waste of ammo. Possibly need another weapon. Let's all move that, and that's some ammo that we can recover. Now you can have this, this, and this, and this, obviously. It's a, no, no condition to carry stuff around, oh, really. Well, in that case. Take the silencer though. Now these people always interrupt my train of thought. I can't even remember what I was talking about. 
Oh yeah, I killed all the military in the outpost. I saw all of their crap. And I didn't like that sound. And I sold it to Sidorovich. Which was always nice, I guess. Oh, there's a dead bandit down here. And that's never a good sign. Okay. Ugh, why do they have all these poor condition weapons? Here. I really don't know what to expect since most of the stuff probably just respawned and just could go fully automatic. I hear something. I don't know if you guys are hearing. It's like a freaking zombie or something. Oh. No. I just saw a, a stupid bloodsucker. Okay, scratch that. I saw two freaking bloodsuckers. Nope. No, 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 no. Oh my god. I'm gonna get myself killed. Jesus Christ, that was close. Oh no, there's another one. No. No means no. No. Oh boy. And I'm almost out of ammo again. Oh, that was completely pointless. Thank you very much. Oh, I actually need to spend money. Okay, what's this? Okay, I can live with that. It's actually not bad. There's a lot of stuff here. I don't know if I should take this as a good sign or a bad sign. And dead people, that's always a good sign. unload your weapon. They're all freaking dead. It's like the bloodsuckers just came in and killed all of them. No. It's not even in good condition. You can have it back. Well that's something. At least some ammo that I got back. Not a whole lot of it, but and let's quick save before things go wrong. And we died. And that's how actually the game ends. True story. Стрелец. Ну, давай, давай, хлопче, давай, приходь до тямы. А так уже краще. Почему в ту растяжку полез? Памяти позбувся. Сам придумав, запропонував, і ось маєш. Добре, хоч живий лишився. Часу обмаль, тому слухай уважно. Усе, що ти казав про моноліт, правда. То просто ілюзія, яку наводять з якоїсь лабораторії поруч із саркофагом. Відомо, що жоден із тих, хто дістався моноліту, не повернувся. Схоже, всі вони там і загинули. А поки тебе не було, Я розкопав певну інформацію. Значить, є такий собі декодер для відкриття дверей, що ведуть до системи керування монолітом. Цей декодер у прип'яті. У схованці. Координати того місця та ключ до схованки я тобі даю. Візьмеш декодер, знайдеш у саркофазі потрібні двері, а там... Що ж, а там уже доведеться за обставинами. Зважаючи на все, це єдина можливість пробратися до справжньої дивниці зони, яку ти завжди намагався розгадати. Отак, стрільцем. А зараз час прощатися. Мені треба залягти на дно. Але я чекатиму на твоє повернення. Щасти. And there we go. We're actually Strelok. But I'm pretty sure all of you already knew that. So we'll, we're no longer marked one, we're Strelok. The secret identity of our character has been revealed. <laughs> Not that you haven't already known, but yeah. So guys, I am going to 
end this session here. We'll meet up again at the bar, as I'm not going to record walking all the way there, as I don't think that's fitting. And... Hope you have enjoyed this episode. I think I already said that. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys the next time. Bye.